A noble woman of House Dane, Ashara was the sister of Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning. An extremely beautiful woman, Ashara was tall, fair, had long dark hair, and haunting violet eyes that often had laughter in them. Her life would end when she committed suicide shortly after Ned killed her brother at the Tower of Joy and returned Arthur's sword to Starfall. If Barristan is to be believed, she also had a stillborn daughter. Today, let's discuss Ashara Dane and the theories about her connection to the Starks. This video was originally uploaded to YouTube as a 20 plus minute video, but I felt parts might be easier to watch. Part 1 will be what we know about Ashara Dane, part 2 about Ashara and Brandon theories, and part 3 about Ashara and Ned, Liana, and Benjen theories. So let's start with what we know about Ashara. Besides, she was a stunning woman. Ashara had three other siblings, an unknown older brother, Arthur Dane, and then a younger sister of unknown age, Illyria. Ashara was one of Princess Ilya Martell's lady companions at King's Landing for the first few years after Ilya married Rhaegar Targaryen. We also know she was at the tourney at Harrenhal in 281 AC, and at the opening feast, she danced with many men, including Barristan Selmy, or one of the Kingsguards, Oberyn Martell, John Cunnington, and Ned Stark. The last being so shy, he wouldn't leave his bench, and his brother Brandon had to ask Ashara to dance with him. We're led to believe Ashara later, during Robert's Rebellion in 282-283 AC, had a stillborn daughter. Also in 283 AC, Ned Stark, after killing Ashara's brother Arthur at the Tower of Joy, traveled to Starfall, gave the sword back to the Danes, and informed them of Arthur's death. Sometime after this, Ashara threw herself from one of the towers of Starfall, the Pale Stone Sword, located on a cliff overlooking the sea. Her body was never found. Characters in the books have their own thoughts on what happened, and Ashara's name is thought of or brought up in every single book in the series, except for in A Feast for Crows. In A Game of Thrones, we learn that at Winterfell, after Ned's arrival back home from war with Jon in 283 AC, there were whispers about Jon's mother and who she could be. Some thought Ashara Dane was a likely choice. Catelyn Stark, newly married and not happy to have Ned's bastard at Winterfell, heard the rumors about the Dornish woman, and one night in bed, asked Ned for the truth. Catelyn claims that was the only time in all their years together her husband had ever frightened her. He told her to never ask about John, he is his blood, and then demanded to know where she had heard Ashara's name. From that day on, the whispering stopped, and Ashara Dane's name was never heard at Winterfell again. Or if her name was mentioned at Winterfell, they made sure Lord Stark never heard it. Later in A Game of Thrones, when Ned confronts Cersei Lannister about Robert's children and the truth about them, she asks Ned about Jon's mother. She lashes out at him, some Dornish peasant you raped while her holdfast burned, a whore, or was it the grieving sister, the Lady Ashara? She threw herself into the sea, I'm told. Why was that? For the brother you slew, or the child you stole? Cersei obviously was trying to hurt Ned and prove to herself and Ned Ned wasn't any more honorable than her. But this still shows that Ashara and Ned connection is rumored about even in the South. Other places besides Winterfell had their tongues wagging about her in relation to the Starks. In A Clash of Kings, Catelyn again thinks of Ashara and that some whisper she is Jon's mother. But Catelyn reasons that the lady is long dead, Ned was also gone, and his loves and secrets had died with him. She feels convinced that Jon's parentage isn't relevant anymore. In A Storm of Swords, Mira Reed tells Bran Stark the story her father Howland Reed told her about the tourney at Harrenhal. This includes Ashara Dane dancing with many men, including Ned Stark. Later, in A Storm of Swords, Ashara's nephew, Edric Dane, who goes by the nickname Ned, confirms that Ashara committed suicide because her heart was broken. He is also surprised that Arya Stark had never heard of her. He claims that his aunt Illyria told him that Ashara and Ned met at Harrenhal and fell in love. Afterwards, Harwin tells Arya that Lady Ashara Dane and Ned is an old tale and one he heard at Winterfell as a boy, but he doubts there's any truth to it. Even if there was, it wouldn't matter. There was no dishonor in what Ned did. He told her, When Ned met his Dornish lady, his brother Brandon was still alive and it was him betrothed to Lady Catelyn. So there's no stain on your father's honor. There's not like attorney to make the blood run hot. 
So maybe some words were whispered in a tent of a night. Who can say? Words or kisses, maybe more. But where's the harm in that? Spring had come, or so they thought, and neither one of them was pledged. He also states that though she did jump into the sea, he believes Ashar killed herself over grief of losing her brother, the Sword of the Morning, not for some love that broke her heart. Lastly, Barristan Selmy's point of view in A Dance with Dragons adds some new intrigue to Ashara. Barristan Selmy was and continues to be in love with Ashara, and through his point of view, we learn he regrets not unhorsing Rhaegar at the tourney at Harrenhal, and not being able to crown Ashara the Queen of Love and Beauty. He feels if he had done that, she might have looked at him instead of a Stark, which Stark isn't specified. He also believes that she killed herself after having her stillborn daughter due to grief over the child she lost, and maybe also in part for the man who had dishonored her at Harrenhal. However, it isn't 100% clear if the man that dishonored her was a Stark. The Stark she looked to could have been a different man than the one that dishonored her, or she looked to a Stark after she was dishonored. Of interest, Barristan also thinks that Daenerys has Ashara's eyes, and that sometimes he feels like he's looking at Ashara's daughter. So depending on who you talk to, Ashara was in love with Ned, Ned stole her baby, she was dishonored by someone at Harrenhal, may have had an affair with the Stark, killed herself from grief over her stillborn baby, killed herself over grief of the man that dishonored her, or she killed herself over the grief of her brother being dead. Lots of discrepancies. Who do we believe, and how do we figure out what exactly happened between the Starks and Ashara? In part two, we'll talk about Ashara Dane and Brandon Stark theories. Thank you for watching, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. After parts two and three, I'll release this video as one long video, which might be a terrible, terrible mistake on YouTube. May the tinfoil be with you.